After what was the biggest launch for Google in years in late 2021 with the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro along with Android 12, just what can we expect in 2022? Well, here's everything you need to know. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So we gotta say Android 13, it's a nailed on 100% happening software release that has already started with a developer preview phase, which is gonna be followed by a public facing beta program. Before we get Android 13 in a beta form though, we're gonna see Android 12L, which is effectively a 0.5 release, and it will include a number of tweaks to better accommodate larger and folding devices and displays. It's unlikely that we'll see a huge overhaul after the release of the huge material U and dynamic color changes that were added last year with Android 12. That said, we're already starting to see further tweaks to this wallpaper led theming system with fine tuning for the core feature sets. Fans will likely be out there hoping that we'll see some extra changes towards the top of the agenda. There will be some, and, and then some added stability and even the reintroduction of some customization options that the Pixel launcher did remove in Android 11 and 12. Google though has shared a timeline which puts the stable Android 13 release at around August 2022. That's a lot earlier than it was last year, which was delayed quite substantially. If you don't want to run the developer previews though, which we highly suggest that you don't for stability reasons, the beta phase is, as we mentioned, set to start in April this year. We're hoping for some enhancements to what has been a rocky ride for Android 12, but overall, so far with our preview build experience, it seems okay as is. Another guaranteed launch for 2022 is that of the Google Pixel 6a. This affordable phone series could get the biggest shakeup since its 2019 launch with the introduction of the flagship level Tensor chip plus a design that does mimic that of the smaller Pixel 6. Sadly though it seems that the small footprint that has been somewhat popular with the Pixel 4a and to a lesser extent the Pixel 5 is going to be dropped in favour of a larger form factor. That might be just the chagrin though of many of you out there, but it is an industry trend that is now seemingly bleeding into the affordable Android space. According to information though uncovered by our APK Insight team within the Google Camera app, the Pixel 6a internally codenamed BlueJ will have a 12.2 megapixel Sony IMX363 primary sensor. And this is the same camera sensor that is found on every Google phone from the Pixel 3 through to the Pixel 5a. Beyond this simple decrease to the megapixel count, the GN1 on the Pixel 6 is physically larger than the IMX363, allowing it to capture more light and therefore more detail. While much of Google's photography prowess comes from compensating with machine learning, things like Super Res Zoom, the larger sensor on the Pixel 6 was a significant contributor to the phone's camera improvements. So it is a little bit disappointing to see the Pixel 6a probably won't come with that. That said, we are expecting very good performance as per previous Pixel series. Long awaited and long overdue, it also seems that Google is finally set to launch the Pixel Watch here in 2022. For years, we've heard rumors of an internally developed smartwatch that would run on Android Wear and then Wear OS. Thanks to the recent Android Studio updates though, it seems that work is ongoing on unique watch faces and software tweaks for this first party hardware. From what we have been able to uncover, we could see some of the first true integration with Fitbit and this upcoming wearable after Google did acquire the company. Since it was first confirmed or that acquisition was first confirmed, the clock has been ticking on when rather than if Google would unveil its own branded wearable. 2022 looks to be that year and we could see the fruits of this labor come to fruition and further evidence does suggest that the Pixel Watch will be powered by the Exynos W920 chip or something very similar. That is, if you've already noted, the very same chip that is already in use within the Galaxy Watch 4 series so we could see similar performance levels. As for design, we're expecting a round watch face with a design that will share a lot of similarities to the ultra luxury resonance watch line. Luckily, the proposed price point will be almost ex exponentially lower with reports suggesting that Google will target the Apple Watch. That could mean the three to $400 region, which although it does seem quite painful, is a lot cheaper than some other competitors. Wear OS 3.0 is also the biggest release for the wearable operating system in absolutely years. We could very well see the Pixel Watch debut alongside the late 2022 flagship series running that software, but at this stage, it is too early to be certain just what Google will do. The foldable form factor is really starting to mature, and it should come as no great surprise that Google is working on a large form factor smartphone of its own. Rumors suggested a Pixel Fold project was cancelled in late 2021, but we have found evidence of its existence within Android 12L. 
Tuning and tweaks for folding displays is also a heavy indication that we'll see a Google made foldable at some point soon too. We know that Google is set to call the device the Pixel Notepad and it will likely start around the $1,400 mark. That could prove a popular move in the space where the current top tier foldable Z Fold 3 starts at nearly $1,800 and the form factor could actually mimic that of the China only Oppo Find N, which we think might be a slightly better form factor overall. Google may also launch a Pixel Notepad in the US first before a wider global release after the device is officially unveiled sometime this year. Sadly, we might see some slight downgrades though in the camera department over the Pixel 6 series, much like the Pixel 6a. The primary 12.2 megapixel Sony IMX363 from the Pixel 3 through the 5a will remain in use as it's thinner than what was introduced with the Pixel 6. It will be joined by an ultra wide 12 megapixel IMX386, a pair of 8 megapixel 355s for selfies. They're expected to round out the Notepad's camera complement. In a shock move, it also looks like Google is set to follow up the Chromecast with Google TV with an affordable version for 2022. While the current iteration offers 4K capabilities alongside Google, this Google TV overhaul, this new model is expected to just offer 1080p streaming at a price point similar to that of the original Chromecast streaming dongle. It is unclear though how this cheaper alternative will alleviate some of the issues such as storage limitations that do hinder the current Chromecast with Google TV right out of the box though. We don't know yet what specs the new Chromecast will offer, but the hardware will definitely be able to decode AV1 codecs as per the requirements for Android TV. It is unclear though if this device will include a remote, but it is set to launch later this year. And although there is little real world evidence that the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro actually physically exist at this early stage of 2022, we are expecting a continuation of the rebooted and refreshed made by Google smartphone series. Sundar Pichai claims that the Pixel 6 wall has broken quarterly sales records and the biggest marketing blitz since the start of the Pixel 6 series will likely be maintained towards the latter half of the year when these devices do eventually arrive. After the successful launch of the Tensor processor, we're excited to see just how Google plans to follow up this chipset. At this stage, we've spotted the codename Cloud Ripper, noted in several areas of the OS, and it appears this is related to the upcoming chipset rather than these devices. Let's hope though that we get upgrades across all possible areas, including the cameras, displays, battery longevity, and maybe even the camera. Samsung's recent four year update commitment would also be a great place to start by mimicking that, but more of the same with some tuning is likely going to be the name of the game here. And it's probably as much as we can probably hope for. Right, so that's more or less all of the certainties out of the way. It is worth noting though that not all Google launches in 2022 are known and there might even be a few surprises thrown in. There are a number of things though that we would love to see or at least come to fruition over the coming year, including things such as new Pixel Buds. Because at present, the only audio accessories officially sold by Google are the Pixel Buds A series. While they're great on their own, we'd love to see a premium upgrade over the 2020 Pixel Buds with Bluetooth connection issues resolved and active noise cancellation maybe thrown in there for good measure. No evidence points to a new version of the earbuds, but it would be a great Pixel companion audio product. Maybe we'll even see some over the ear headphones, but at this stage, we don't know. We're actually listening in attentively and should we learn anything, you will be the first to hear of it. While it's highly unlikely that Google will return to the tablet space in 2022, the recent news that the firm is behind an improved Android tablets initiative, it could be pretty well received. We would love to see a Google branded tablet. Naturally, the ill-fated Pixel Slate is the last, last such tablet product from Google, but it ran on Chrome OS rather than Android. So we'd love to see a follow-up running Android rather than Chrome OS, as this form factor just works as that second screen experience. It's more a case of if rather than when we will see a Tensor follow-up chip, we already know that it will be the processor of choice in the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro, but we're just excited to see if there'll be any major performance gains this time around, given that the Tensor chip sits around the Snapdragon 870 range. It's also unclear if Google will launch the new Tensor chip ahead of the Pixel 7 series or alongside the proposed late 2022 flagship duo, as they did with the soft launch of the original processor in mid 2021. That said, we're really excited to see just what Tensor brings to the table as it could be a future front runner for Android. So that's quite a lot of information for you to unpack and digest. And we're gonna be, there's gonna be a number of twists and turns throughout the year, especially with regards to Google's lineups as it has done 
in years gone by. However, what about these upcoming or proposed product launches are you most looking forward to in 2022? Or even is there anything you're unsure of or think is not going to be probable? Let us know down in the comment sections below what you want to see most. But until next time, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.